Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and yes, I've been wanting to make this tutorial for a while. I'm just now getting around to it. I apologize for the inconvenience, for any delays, but here we go. Without further ado, I'm going to be showing you all how to get your consoles onto a work or a school connection, hopefully. Now, there are so many variations of connections out there, so this really varies. This is my method that I'm able to use. I've had success with it, and I'm going to be showing you all how to use it. Now, definitely use it at your own discretion and be smart about it uh, because there are a few things that could be breaking your terms of service but as long as you're smart about it as long as you know what you're doing and as long as it works hopefully you should be okay now there might be a few reasons why you might want to do this many people who are in university or in college they try and bring their systems with them, whether they be an Xbox, a PlayStation, a Wii, a Wii U, anything like that, and they will have some trouble connecting them onto their school networks and their dorms or whatnot, and even at work, if you work at a university, or you know, if you have a place of work where you are able to bring a system with you somehow, this could help you out as well. And it really all depends. As I said, this is what works for me. It won't work for every single connection out there, but I'm going to be showing you all this. Before I start this as well, huge shout out to Johnny Gun. If you were interested in any type of Xbox hard mods, check out his channel. He is actually the person who told me about his method that he used in college, and I decided to take it. I took it to heart, and I ended up, you know, doing a few tweaks on it, which made it a bit more refined, at least for me, and hopefully easier for the end user as well. So, huge shout out to him for, you know, originally planting the seed in this. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. So, first off, I'm using Windows 7 on a wired connection. Now, it really helps if you're on a wired connection connection for everything. As long as you're on the same connection, it should work, but you know, sometimes wired versus wireless, there'll be some iffy things. Now this is what you want to do. If you're on Windows 7, you want to come over to your start menu, go to your control panel, go to network and internet, network and sharing center, and then from here, you want to hit local area connection. You want to go to properties and configure right here. Now once you're in the configuration, you want to come over to advance, and right here, you want to come over to network address. You go ahead, click that, and right here, it should be defaulted to not present. That is just using your regular MAC address. Now this is not an IP address, this is a MAC address. A MAC address is an address that is specifically tied to the hardware in your computer or your game device or anything like that. Any electronic device that will hook up to an internet connection will have one. Now what you need to do right here, you need to select value. And where it has all the zeros, you need to take the MAC address from your console, whether it be a PlayStation, a Wii, an Xbox, anything like that, and you need to spoof the MAC address in here. I will show you how to do it. I'm at least doing it on an Xbox. I will show you how to do it on there. But you want to enter the MAC address on here, and once you do that, you want to hit OK. So on your console, while you're not signed into any type of online service, I'm going to be doing it on the Xbox. You want to go over to your system settings, your network settings, then from there, pick what type of network you have. I'm using wired. Go to configure network, go to additional settings, and then advanced settings. And from there, you're going to find your console's MAC address, at least on the Xbox. Do not sign into Xbox Live, but take that MAC address and copy it into the field I showed you previously on your computer. Now, once you hit OK, it's going to disconnect you, and then it's going to start reconnecting you. Now, here is where it's going to differ for everyone, and I really can't show you all this step because it's just going to differ for everyone, as I've said. But now you're going to be using your computer with your console's MAC address. What you need to do is you need to do whatever steps are required to authenticate your connection. Most of the time you just need to open up something in Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer, any type of web browser, and then you're going to need to go through some steps to authenticate it right here to get rid of this X. So once you authenticate that, what you want to do then is once you're done, once you're connected to the internet and everything and you're stable for a few minutes, you want to come back here to to local area connection, you want to do the same thing, go back to properties, configure, advanced, you want to come over to network address again, and hit not present. You hit OK, it's going to disconnect you a second time, and it's going to put you back on the network with your original MAC address for your computer. Now what you can do is you can go over to your console and you should be able to connect. All right, well if you're able to connect, congratulations, you are now on your network and I'm happy I helped you out. Personally, I have to use this in order to connect 
to freestyle dashboard servers on my JTAG and reset glitch systems. I don't need it for Xbox Live, but occasionally I also will need it for my jailbroken PS3 if I'm needing to connect onto anything using multi-man using that. Most of the time I've noticed my connection that if it's going through an HTTP type system, it's going to require some type of authentication. So it really all depends on that. But anyways, I hope I helped you all out. This is the method I use. If this method did not work for you, I do apologize. I'm really not sure what else you can do. You can go ahead and Google and check and see what's going on. You might need to do some more bypasses. You might even need to tether off your phone or something. Just do something. But it really all depends, as I've said, because there's so many type of connections out there. I do this because it works for me, and I'm able to use my PC and my consoles with different MAC addresses on the same network at the same time. So that's why I do this method. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone.